Now, another entrepreneur making a different point, and this one comes from the heart. Following her lifelong passion of dancing, one of New York City, one New York City woman is proving there's no business like shoe business. For years, ballerinas have suffered the agony of the feet. And there's, um, I guess, the initial burning from the blisters and then just kind of throbs. Dancer Eliza Gaynor Minden remembers pirouetting in pain as well. Coming down from a jump and all of a sudden having it hurt and hearing a loud clomping noise really changed the experience of class for me. Minden was also shocked to see ballet companies spend thousands of dollars on shoes that wore out after just one performance. So Minden, who comes from a family of dancers and inventors, decided to take matters into her own hands. I bought a pair of every brand of point shoe that was available, and I cut them all open with a bandsaw. And I couldn't believe what I found inside. None of them had modern materials, and one of them even had a toe box made out of newspaper. I was really outraged that dancers, who are serious athletes, were expected to perform in such antiquated equipment. Minden spent eight years developing a patented high-tech point shoe. She and husband John launched Gainer Minden Footwear in 1993. But despite the shoe's comfort and durability, they were not an instant success. Ballet is a very traditional art. There was a scandal the first time a ballerina wore a tutu on stage. So while some dancers embraced Gainer Minden's right from the beginning, others needed to be convinced. Minden stuck to it, and the shoes began to win over the hearts and the souls of prima ballerinas, like Gillian Murphy of the American Ballet Theater and Svetlana Zakharova of the Bolshoi. Soon, other ballerinas came calling. Claire Davison is an apprentice at the American Ballet Theater. They're very comfortable and consistent, and they look really nice, and I feel like they really complement my work and point work. And Really good in them. The shoes retail for $115 a pair. While some dancers still favor traditional brands like Capizio, ABT soloist Kirsty Boone has been wearing Gaynor Mindens since she was 15. You have a lot of choreography to remember when you're walking out on stage, and the last thing you want to worry about is, is your shoe going to break? Does it fit right? Does it look right? Is it going to last throughout the entire ballet? So to have that peace of mind for me has just always been key. Did that order from the Royal come in? Yes. The shoes are made in a solar powered factory in Lawrence, Massachusetts. Most of Minden's sales staff is in New York City. Almost everybody who works here is a former or current dancer. So we know how to speak to our customers and to dance teachers in their own terms, in their own language. Today, the shoes are shipped to 86 countries and more than 200 major dance companies. And sales are growing by leaps and bounds, up double digits nearly every year. Two decades after launching her company, Eliza Minden measures her success not just in dollars, but in feet. Minden is also courting a whole new generation of prima ballerinas. Recently, she introduced a mini Minden line for kids.